The Cable Wakeboarding World Championships takes place in Morelos, Mexico, two hours south of Mexico City, and is not only a cultural mecca, but also has the perfect climate for outdoor sports. This special occasion only happens every other year, so there has been a long build-up for the riders. With over 170 competitors in attendance from almost 30 countries, the best in the world are here, and today we will see the ladies go head-to-head. -head. Yeah, we're here in Morelos, Mexico for the 2016 Cable Wakeboard World Championships. Mexico is fantastic, it's beautiful, all the people are so nice. Uh, now in Italy it's winter, so it's uh, good to have uh, another summer. I like this country, it's, it, all this very beautiful, and the sun, it, it don't rain, and I like The people are so friendly and the food is good. The food is brilliant. The street food is fantastic. Just outside the hotel, there's this awesome lady who sells breakfast at the back of her car. So you can get um, like quesadilla with like eggs for breakfast. The lake has been specially designed with a top-notch cable system. We have a five-tower system in cable and uh, the course will start with, with one kicker inside or outside, and the rider has to choose it. And then we have fan box on the outside. Then we have a first inverse section. Then we have a flat bar inside, pipe rail on the outside, and then once again, inverse section, and finally, the latest kicker. So basically, we have more or less five inverts and five obstacles. It's perfect because wind usually move obstacle, create some chops in the water, here everything is perfect, flat water, no wind. It's uh, quite a small cable, so, but this makes the course pretty challenging because all your tricks, all the air tricks and the obstacle tricks are right after each other. So if you have done the whole lap, the whole run, it's quite exhausting. Personally really like the course. For air tricks, the cable is really, really good because it has a good high and good tension. And yeah, also the obstacles are good. The IWWF has recognized wake skate as a discipline for a number of years now, and this is the fourth time the sport will be included in the Cable Wakeboard World Championships. It's possibly one of the hardest sports to do on the tow line as you're not attached to the board. The rider uses normal skate shoes and the board is layered with skateboard grip tape. Most of the tricks are inspired by skateboarding like shove and kickflips. Wonder Kid Thelma Sesta Garcia is the new Junior World Champion and Spanish National Champion at just 11 years young, so she is the one to watch. Before I, I come here, I do a lot of trainings and after I do here, all the trainings. In Wake Skate Junior, I'm, I do the first place. It's like skateboard and skateboard I like and I try and I all right. Garcia makes the kickers look huge. She goes toe side with an indie grab on the first kicker and heel side front side 180 onto the fun box. Straight ollie. A Madonna, which is an ollie with a nose grab while her front foot is in the air. A tidy selection of flat water tricks followed up with a shove it over the table. She puts together a nice combination of spins and shove -its before her second kicker hit. A heel side, front side, 180 tail grab. Her father is also in attendance who seems more nervous than his daughter. She scores a 4-7-3-3 and takes fourth overall. Next up is the current Masters World Champion, Elisa Costanzo. It's uh, the, the most uh, important competition uh, in the world. So uh, it's very hard uh, to, to compete here. Yeah. The, the level in the last two or three years is uh, much higher. And so it's good.
The Italian national champion takes it easy on the first kicker, doing a straight air and finds her feet straight into a surface heel side, front side 360. Then a nice board slide over the fun box. She puts together a nice combination of a surface backside 360, shove it, and then a toe side frontside 180 board slide over the box. Before the final big kicker, she throws in a couple of big spins in opposite directions. Then a heel side frontside 180, but comes up a little bit short on the rotation. She scores a 52 6 7 and takes third overall. European champion Ori Buyo from the Israeli team had a solid first run, placing her in the medals, and for her second run, she tidied up even more. Like most of the ladies, she stays safe and goes straight on the first kicker, then follows it up with a heel side, front side 180 on the flat water. Buyo does a nice big spin over the table, followed up with a 360 shove it, and then sets herself up into another shove it before the final kicker. She goes heel side, front side 180 and betters her first round score with a total of 6-3, 3-7 and jumps into first place ahead of the defending world champion Susanna Vrablova by just three tenths of a point. Vrablova is under pressure and must improve on her first run. She was hoping for a victory lap and being able to throw caution to the wind with a technically superior run, but she had to keep her head and stay solid. Again, no risk over the first kicker. Got a solid shove it over the fun box and gets into the flat water. But on this big spin here, she almost goes down. The pressure obviously getting to her. After a series of shove and ollie, she throws a heel side front side 180 over the kicker and it's enough to knock Buyo off the top spot with the highest score of the day. That well, it was uh, intense. Right I was thinking like, okay, if I, if I would know that I'll be leading, I would go for like crazy run I wanted to do. But now, you know, it, it changed or he's leading there. So I'm thinking like, what tricks he go for? It was, it was intense, but I'm happy I landed. The riders sometimes need a break from training, and it's good to get away from the cable lake for a while. Moreos is a perfect place to relax and unwind. The Jardín de Mexico is the largest botanical garden in the world, and with the generous climate of the region, it is home to some of the most spectacular plants known to man. With areas dedicated to different themes such as the gardens of Italy and Japan, a tropical section, and a garden of the senses. There are many diverse species with a special tilt to the local Mexican flora and the spectacular cacti. With over 200 different varieties, it is the perfect place to step away from the intense competition and take in some of the incredible surroundings. The gardens are one way to relax, but some of the riders chose another form of escapism. So we went skydiving yesterday and it was so cool. To be honest, I was I was so petrified on the plane, I couldn't really enjoy the view. Last few years, there has been one person that has dominated ladies wakeboarding, Julia Rick from the German team. She is the current European champion, German champion, last year's World Cup winner. In fact, she's won pretty much every competition she's entered for the last two years. She was a world champion as a junior, but moving into the open category, the title has eluded her. 
The previous World Championships was held in Norway. It was a close competition, but Sana Maya from the Netherlands took the win by just two points. The disappointment was evident, and again, the motivation is high for this 2016 World Championships in Mexico. She steps into the final as the favorite with the highest qualifying score and therefore is last on the starters list. The top eight ladies start in reverse ranked order for their first run. The scores are then tallied and they again start in reverse ranked order for their second round. It is the best run of the two that counts. First off the dock in round one is Shenzur from Israel. She was the lowest ranked from the semi, so has the honor of going first. She hits the kicker, goes heel side, front side 540, and gets a bit deep on the landing, but backs it up on the fun box with a transfer front side 180 off. Her first section of air tricks look tidy with an inside back roll to revert into a crypt, and then sliding the table with a grab. The young Israeli ollies onto the pipe, but drops off the right side and goes front side 180 out. This small mistake will cost her some points. She follows up with a back roll, but comes up a bit short on the rotation, again costing her much needed scoring. It's now all down to the final kicker shot. She goes heel side, back side 360 and nails it. A score of 40 points for her first run. Next up is 16-year-old Italian Claudia Panini. She is the national wakeboard champion and also wake skates. She didn't qualify so well into these finals, but still made the cut. Her first kicker trick is a heel side front side 540, the same as Shenzur, but Panini follows it up with a rally and a Bel Air. Then into a transfer front side 360 off the fun box and straight into a massive front flip to revert, nice. Her box and pipe rail look smooth and stylish. She now sets up for some big flat water tricks and throws down a back roll and an inside back roll to revert. She goes on to nail a heel side, front side 450 over the kicker. She should be happy with her first run, scoring 56 7 and going into first place after the first two riders. Zen Kun Duan is the only Chinese rider to make any of the finals here in Mexico, and she qualified in six for the finals. She mixes it up on the kicker, going toe side, front side 540, and straight into a crypt on the flat water. Her box work is stylish with a heel side, front side ollie on 540, as is the pipe board slide, but she drops off a bit early. Her second section of flat water tricks need to be solid to put her in the mix, and she kicks it off with an S bend into a nice inside back roll revert. She finishes off with a spectacular whirly bird off the kicker, getting a bit tied up in the landing, but stays on her feet, scoring 46-3-3, and she slides into second so far. Aurélie Godet, the national French champion, is just 15 years old, but she's been mixing it up with the older ladies for a while now. Her first run kicks off with a toe side, backside 540, straight into an S bend, but with too much tension on the handle, she has to let go, scoring just 8-3-3. 18-year-old Vanessa Weinauer is fresh from winning the World Juniors and so knows the course very well. Her first run is a solid kicker hit, followed up with a best front flip to revert tail grab of the day. Her ollie on 50-50 backside 360 off puts her over the front and she goes down scoring just 29 points, but she has another chance in round two.
Ladies Masters World Champion Steph Collar also has qualified in the Open Ladies category. It's always really nerve-wracking to on the dock before the final, but actually I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm mostly excited to watch some of the other girls riding um, and, and yeah, and do my best. 30-year-old Steph has one of the highest and best blind judges of the day. She then ollies onto the box, and the 180 tail press frontside 360 out is also super stylish. A heel side frontside 360 on the final kicker goes pear-shaped, however, and she gets really deep into the landing and crashes. A disappointing end to a good run. She scores 43-6-7 and pulls into third. Maria Volgina from Russia comes off a first place in the girls under 15 world championships, but this is a different environment. Her first kicker hits solid, and she goes into the flat water with a nice S-bend to revert. She then has a tidy inside mo, but she can't quite make the handle pass, and her run is cut short. 23-6-7 puts her in fifth. Next up, clear favorite, Yulia Rick. When I'm on the start dock, um, I go through, through my run, so I visualize all my tricks and uh, then I just think, okay, let's go on the water and have fun and do your run. <laughs> Would be the best feeling to win the World Championships here, definitely. It's really my, my goal for this, for this year. Well, they don't get any cleaner than that toe side backside 540. She follows it up over the fun box with a toe side backside 360 and misses the transfer. The pressure is getting to her. Stylish heel side, front side, 360 ollie on nose press, 180 out on the flat box, and the pipe rail ollie on, 50 50 backside, 360 out. Wow, looking good. Three superb technical clean air tricks in the invert section puts her into the final kicker hit. Getting ready for it. Heel side, backside, 540, but she gets a little over the front of the landing. However, manages to stick it, scoring 78-3-3, the best of round one. After a disappointing first run from the French champion, Aurélie Godet goes first in round two. She notches down the technical level of her first kicker to ensure the same thing doesn't happen as it did in round one. This time, she sticks her S-bend and sets up nicely for the fun box. Her air tricks on the flat water are all tidy and clean with a nice blind judge at the end, and she is now on for a good second run. Her box work, good. And the up rail all looks good here, and now it's into the final flat water section where it can all be won or lost. She has a back roll to blind. Getting around again and goes inside, toe side to back roll to revert, but just can't get the height. This is an exhausting and intense run with one final kicker hit. Overall, it's a pretty good run, scoring 63 points, placing her second behind Yulia Rick's first run. Seventh after the first round, Maria Vogina will be hoping for a better run in round number two. She adds a quick grab off of the 540 from the kicker and some much improved action on the transfer box and that puts her into the first flat water section of tricks. An inside crypt, S-bend to revert, and a last minute inside mope to put her right in the firing line for the flat box, but she does the classic low scoring butt check. This is an intense course with not much space for error and the young Russian is feeling it. A slightly scrappy blind judge there. Into a back roll to blind, but she can't find her feet. Still, she improves on her score, moving into fourth place. Next up, Vanessa Weinawa, hoping to improve her third place after round one. 
It's cool to start also in the open category because now I have not that much pressure. Like, yeah, um, no pressure on me because I also already get my title. So I just can do my tricks, my run and yeah, maybe it could be enough for the podium, <laughs> but I don't know. The Junior World Champ puts down two solid obstacle tricks followed up with an inside back roll revert. Then a front flip to revert tail grab looking very good for a higher score. She puts in some fancy footwork on the dance floor with a toe side front side 180 ollie on 270, 270 out. And on the pipe she doesn't risk the 360 off where she fell in the last run and holds it together with a tail grab. Final big air tricks are going to be the decider. She goes for a Rayleigh 313 and a back roll tail grab, avoiding the blind roll that she did with the Junior World title win. A safe, solid final kicker hit puts her in the medals. It's not enough to beat Rick and Godet, but a very respectable run nevertheless. Steph Collar from Team GB was in fourth place after the first round. She doesn't have the biggest bag of tricks on the lake, but she has lots of experience and can handle the pressure. The Masters World Champion shows her fun box skills with a tidy transfer and a clean backside 180 out. She then throws down a blind judge on the flat water. The flat box shows off her style with a super tweaked frontside 180 tail press, and that does the trick, followed up by the rail where she is one of the few women to spin off the top. She shows her experience right to the very end and nails her heel side front side 360 for a solid run scoring 57-3-3 and remaining in fourth place just outside the medals. Collar just didn't have the tricks to knock Yulia Rick off the top spot. Her first run was enough to take the title and she is now on the dock as the 2016 world champion with just one victory lap to go. Julia Rick can now throw it all down. The title is hers. She kicks off with the biggest kicker hit of the day, toe side 720, and backs it up around the lake. Many of the men would be proud of a run like this. She's doing tricks that no other lady can perform. It was technically difficult and executed with precision for a well-deserved victory. The highest scoring run of the day, 85-3-3, beating her closest rival by a good 20 points. She finally gets the title. Yeah, Mexico was awesome, awesome experience here. We've been here for two weeks and I am here going home with the first place in juniors and third in open, so couldn't be better right now. So stoked right now to finally get IWWF Open World Champion. It was so special. Um, in 2014, I got IWWF Vice Champion and um, yeah, I worked really, really hard. And now I finally got IWWF Total World Champion the best feeling ever.
And here are the official results of the ladies' wakeboard final. Yulia Rick wins the title and is the world champion with a bullet ahead of Aurelie Godet from France and in third place, the German junior world champion Vanessa Weinhauer. With these final shots, we say goodbye from the 9th IWWF Cable Wakeboard World Championships in Morelos, Mexico.